and welcome to the show. I'm Moira Geddes. This weekend we are off and racing with the Chelmsford Stakes in Sydney and the Dado Tan Chin Nan Stakes in Melbourne. Also coming up, the Daily Telegraph, the Herald Sun and the Courier Mail's top racing experts reveal their best bets. Entirely Platinum is the, this week's pony in profile, so stay watching for all of his stats. We bring you the most on-trend fashions on the field with Melissa Hoyer from news.com.au. And last but not least, the latest odds for this weekend's meets. Before we jump the gates though, let's take a quick look at last weekend's Group 1 finish. But it's Dissident who takes the lead clearly, starts to race away. Dissident bolted in by two. Leaks. Sweet idea second, Prasant Stallone ahead away third. Front Hallowed Crown is coming right down the outside with Kamayon. Hallowed Crown! Hallowed Crown has won it and remains undefeated. And joining me every week with all the know is none other than the Daily Telegraph's racing editor, Ray Thomas. And Ray, what a run by dissident in the Memsies. Hi Moira, hi everyone. Yeah, absolutely outstanding dissident. Trained by Peter Moody and his win in the Memsey suggests he's in for a big spring. And in the run to the Rose, Moira, I really like the win of Hallow Crown last week. He's unbeaten from Team Cummings, Bart and James Cummings. It wouldn't be spring, Moira, without a Bart Cummings star. Well, let us not dwell on the past. All eyes now focusing on this Saturday, which is the third weekend of this year's Spring Racing Carnival. Ray, what runners are you watching this week? Great weekend of racing, Moira. At Randwick, there's the Chelmsford, as you said. At Mooney Valley, the Dardo Tan Chin Nam Stakes. In the Chelmsford Stakes, though, really keen on entirely platinum. He's a very promising horse. And just the way this race will be run, Moira, he'll be up on the speed. He's got the ability to sprint home his last 600 and sub 34. He just might be too good for this field. If he can win the Chelmsford Stakes, he's a horse to follow right through the spring. In the Furious Stakes, Earthquake is resuming. She won the Blue Diamond Stakes last autumn, ran second in the Golden Slipper, an absolutely outstanding filly. I think even though she's lacking race fitness, Moira, she can win first up on Saturday in the Furious Stakes. Washington Heights, he can test the Ming Dynasty quality. This could be Australia's best maiden. He's yet to win, but I think Saturday he'll break through and he'll go into bigger and better things this spring. And the best outsider at Randwick in the Concord Stakes, a horse called Safeguard. We'll have a wet track on Saturday. He's a pretty handy horse, good fresh, loves wet tracks. He's about a $14 chance, Moira. That's a good each way bet. Let's go south to Melbourne now, where the Herald Sun's chief racing writer, Matt Stewart, joins us. And Matt, you're looking to star rolling to win the Dado Tan due to his solid track work behind closed doors. Yeah, he's a regular visitor, Moira, and uh, g'day to you and to everyone. Uh, he's a regular visitor at the Valley. He's only raced there once, and he ran unplaced in a 1,000 metre race uh, some time ago. But his trainer, Peter Morgan, is a, a, not a household name trainer at all, but he's a meticulous conditioner, and he uses Mooney Valley at every opportunity. And Star Rolling's been to the Valley probably a dozen times in the last year or so. So he's very familiar with the track. He's a bit of a star in waiting. I think the general consensus was that the very best A graders went around in the uh, in the Memsey last Saturday. But I reckon Star Rolling can elevate himself into that group this Saturday. Uh, but he's got a tough nut to crack in uh, in uh, the Tasmanian, the cleaner, who's a bit of a cult horse. He's a phenomenal horse, really. He's a humble little Tasmanian. He comes across on the spirit of Tasmania every time he comes to the mainland, often in treacherous conditions. So he has to endure uh, the, the trip across before he even gets to the racetrack. And uh, he's a phenomenal horse. He's a freewheeling front runner. He runs flat out the whole way. And then he finds a, an extra gear that other horses don't possess. So he's going to be really hard for uh, for Star Rolling to get past. But uh, I think Star Rolling's got the class to get over the the little cult horse from Tasmania in the cleaner. And there's a, a, a sort of a fickle imported horse called Pakal, who on his day could easily win the race. But he's uh, he's a bit up and down. And uh, but his best uh, performances are first up, and he is first up in the Dardo. So I'm going with Star Rolling as the star horse on the rise to win the race to beat the cult horse from Tasmania in the cleaner and maybe Pakal for third. But I think this is the day where Star Rolling sort of announces himself as a serious Cox Plate contender. Thanks, Matt. Heading north to Brisbane now, where the Courier Mail's racing editor, Nathan Exelby, is on standby. And Nathan, you're looking to Felino after he produced a blistering final sectional to win running away first up. Yeah, that's right, Moira. I do think we can get some money out of the last race at Doombin on Saturday. Felino was a very good three-year-old. He took, he had some problems in between, but I thought he was back to his best the way he won first up. With good speed in the race through Adebisi and Rocket to Glory, I think he gets his chance to run home over the top of them again. I think Rocket, Rocket to Glory is probably the danger. Goes well fresh. And final crescendo down the bottom. They may not run from the wide gate, but if they do, he'll get home strong. But Felino, the best for me, Moira. OK, thanks, Nathan. Time now for this week's Pony in Profile. And, Ray, today we're looking at Team Hawks' promising galloper entirely platinum. 
We are, Moira, and look, on a day when the Melbourne Cup favourite, the Opera, resumes and also the world's best sprinter, Lankan Rupee, races in Melbourne, my focus will be on Entirely Platinum here in Sydney. This is an up-and-coming racehorse. He's in the Chelmsford Stakes, as we mentioned earlier. He'll carry weight for age on Saturday, but he's a big hulking horse, Moira, so 59 kilos won't bother him. He's only a lightly raced five-year-old, just had the 13 starts for six wins. His star is on the rise. He's a horse to follow. If he wins the Chelmsford Stakes, there's big and better things coming up for entirely platinum through the spring. All right, well, the latest odds coming up next. First now, it is time to check out the latest often racing fashions on the field. And this week's gorgeous outfits are proudly brought to you by Westfield Burwood. And here to take us through today's look is news.com.au's Melissa Hoyer. And Mel, I'm loving the small flower you're using as a fascinator. That look really is hot right now. Well, it is all about the fashion stakes. It's not just about horses, but yes, it's all about small accessories this spring. And this little number is from Louisa. And it's available at Westfield Burwood. And it's very inexpensive too. Anyway, if you do like that, you're gonna love the entire looks I've got for you today. We're first starting with our beautiful, beautiful filly. The Spring Racing Carnival, of course, is the perfect opportunity to be adventurous with your outfit. So we've chosen a multi-colored floral dress from Q, and it's a really perfect combination of fun and frivolity. While it's it also sticks to racing dress codes, which is very, very important. It's a very eye-catching print and very on trend, and that side pleat detail just adds that little touch of playfulness. So for a day at the races, that's really what you want. And of course, it's not too short, so always keep that in mind. As for shoes, we've gone for a really nice strappy heel, which works very well with this outfit, as the dress in itself is such a statement. And even with accessories, we've actually gone a little bit low key because the print of the dress is so strong. We've just had a really nice little cuff from Louisa and a small black clutch from Dottie. And of course, just choose a very small bag. You really only need some money, your keys and your lipstick and your phone. And team it with a, a floral headpiece. With this one, I think it just worked well because it's not too overpowering, but just suits the dress beautifully. Of course, Moira, we know that racing isn't just restricted to the ladies. So each year, boys are really getting more and more fashion conscious. So we've got something for them too. And what we've chosen is the most beautiful, beautiful blue suit. It's so slim fitting and it's from the label Oxford. And I think uh, racing with men is the perfect time when boys can be a little bit more adventurous. So we've put a classic white shirt. We've put a really nice little paisley tie and a silk pocket square. So it's all about the details like the pocket square. And even some guys are gonna be wearing trilby hats. So get your hat together if you're planning on wearing your hat. So really, if you wanna uh, get the uh, boys and the girls looking on trend, take these tips. Anyway, all of this is available from Westfield at Burwood. Thanks, Mel. What do you think, Ray? I reckon that blue would really bring out, bring out the uh, blue in your eyes. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> that, Moira, but I do like the blue suit and not that expensive, Moira, particularly if we can find a few winners on Saturday as well. That's right. Okay, last but not least, it, uh, if it's not the fashion you're into, then for the punters, of course, a quick run over the latest odds. Well, just repeating, Moira, and in the Chelmsford Stakes, entirely platinum is $2.50, but I think that's pretty good odds. The Furious Stakes, Earthquakes, $1.70 favourite. She's pretty short, Moira, but she'll win. The Ming Dynasty quality, Washington Heights, a very promising cold. He's about $2 in early betting. And now my best outsider was in the Concord Stakes. About a $13 chance, great value, safe card. But the day's best bet, Washington Heights. Well, a sure bet there on Safeguard, I reckon, and at uh, $13, I might just have to take a punt myself, Ray. But until then, that's all we have time for. Be sure to join us again next week for all the very latest, both on and off the track. Happy racing.